A is for Salad by Mike Lester. It's so nice to have you back with me today. It's so nice to have you back with me today. It's so nice, and I say yay, to have you back with me today. It's so nice to have you back with me today. Boom, boom. It's nice to have you back with me today. Cowie. It's nice to have you back with me today. Lena. It's so nice to have you back. Simon. It's so nice to have you back. David. It's so nice to have you back with me today. Bum, bum. Today we're going... Oh, hi, by the way. Mr. Greg, of course, here, hanging out with you. So lovely to see you, all of you. A is for salad. You feeling a bit confused? I'm feeling a bit confused. Just a little bit confused. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there appears to be a tiger wearing polka dot boxer shorts right at the beginning of the story. <laughs> Isn't he so funny? <laughs> oh, here's a very cool page. So we've got all of the animals who are going to show up during this story. All of the animals. This, if you're wondering, is an alphabet book, but it's a very interesting alphabet book. And it is called A is for salad. Very strange. <laughs> it's silly. I think these animals are so very silly. What's that on top of the A? It's a salad. Because apparently, A is for salad. But it's not, is it? Am I missing something? What's that? Oh, that's an alligator. A there are A's in salad, but A is for alligator eating a salad. Quite a silly alligator. Mm -hmm. B is for Viking. What? A Viking? Well, he is wearing a Viking helmet and he does have a Viking spear. What animal do you imagine that is? A beaver. That's right. B beaver. C is for hot dog? Oh my goodness. There is a C on the hat of the cat. Cat. C-A-T. C is for hot dog. I think it's also silly that the cat is eating a hot dog. D is for remote control. Isn't it? I don't think so. But I, I'm sensing a pattern here, and the pattern I'm sensing is that the animal is going to tell us the letter. Oh, don't you think so? I think so. So D is for a duck holding a remote control. Like a fuzzy TV. He's got his glasses just like me. E is for pajamas. <laughs> There's peanuts on the pajamas. And who's wearing the pajamas, everybody? The elephant. E elephant. <laughs> F is for soup. Hmm? There are F's in that alphabet soup. Only F's. And who, pray tell, is eating that soup? Mr. Ribbit himself. 
the f frog frog f g of course is for soccer hmm who is that playing soccer is that a goat a goat that's exactly right the goat is playing soccer and of course h is for pizza i think no of course not look at that horse that horse eating pizza and here's a very cool thing i've noticed there are mushrooms and there's a pattern of mushrooms and pepperoni on his behind on the horses behind on a silly horse i of course is for pancakes what's that sign say please do not feed iguana iguana i please do not well then why are they feeding the iguana pancakes i think that's not right j of course is for hats no those are beautiful hats they have a lovely flowery hat they have a lovely football helmet 10 gallon hat of the sheriff and we've got a pirate hat all on top of jellyfish jellyfish j and of course you knew that though didn't you k k of course is for doctor doctor oh that doctor is sitting inside of a pouch doing an exam of the animal who has a pouch who is a kangaroo mm -hmm. i don't know if i'd want to sit in the pouch of a kangaroo and do an exam of his mouth l of course is for hair dryer <laughs> The lion apparently got all wet, and he's very grumpy about it. I sometimes I'm grumpy when I get wet. Lion. M is for cowboy boots. Four cowboy boots on a moose. Moose. This is quite a book we have going here. Of course, N. N we know is for lunch. Narwhal back at one o'clock. Hey, buddy, I'm going to have a peanut butter jelly sandwich. There's Mr. Narwhal. We love Mr. Narwhal. And O, of course, is for bow tie. <laughs> one, two, three, four bow ties on the neck of an ostrich, I believe. He looks quite shocked. Four bow ties. P is for roller skates. I'm sure of that. No, not roller skates. Oh, it's a penguin on roller skates. Why does a penguin need roller skates? He could just go on the ice. He's a penguin. Penguin. That's what we're looking for. I can't quite figure out what Q is for. Can you? Well, it's noticing there's a little bird, and there are all these signs. Look, it's a quail! Quail below. Quail! 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 Over there is a quail! I'm assuming it's a quail! Q-U-A-I-L. Quail. R, of course, is for bowling. <laughs> it's such a large bowling ball. In the hands of the rabbit the rabbit looks very shocked by having to carry it would appear a 12 or 13 pound bowling ball rabbits only weigh less than a pound it's a very strong rabbit that rabbit and s of course is for tennis tennis i remember this guy do you remember him from back in the beginning of the story i do if we go all the way back to this page, you notice that that snake is all the way back there. 
playing tennis. Look at what happened. It appears as though he swallowed the tennis ball, which is very silly. Oh boy. T. Oh, do you remember this guy from the very beginning? T is for polka dotted underpants. Of course, on a tiger who appears to be a bit embarrassed because he got caught in his polka dotted underpants. Tiger. U is for go fish. Well, there's a girl. And she's playing go fish with a unicorn. That means one corn, one horn, unicorn. That's really fun to have a mythical creature in the middle of this book. V is for wiggly worm. That the... Did you get it? Vulture has. And the mommy vulture, or the daddy vulture, or the caregiver vulture, or maybe the teacher vulture is giving the baby vulture, or maybe it's a toddler vulture, a very wiggly worm. Ah, there's W, of course, for birthday cake. No. Nope. Well, guess whose birthday it is. He is the Eggman. He is the Eggman. He is the Walrus. Walrus. Cuckoo Kachu. X. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. Ooh, X and Y. I'll let you have a look at that one. There's a... There's a sanitation worker, a garbage person, another sanitation worker or garbage person carrying a Y and an X are not important letters. Never use them. X and Y are very important letters. Why, I notice there's a yo-yo right down here. That's a Y. And look here, sticking out of the garbage truck. A xylophone that starts with X, even though it makes a Z sound. Very important letters. I do not agree with what's happening there. Oh, of course, Z, of course, is for the end. <laughs> and it's pointing to the end of a zebra. Ooh, hello, zebra. And then at the very end of the book, I think this is very cool. I want to come and read this a little bit closer with you. They let you know what each of the animals are doing. So, of course, A is also for alligator. B is also for beaver. C is also for cat. D is also for duck. E is also for elephant. F is also for frog. G is also for goat. H is also for horse. That's right. I is also for, do you remember? Iguana. J is also for, exactly right, jellyfish. K is also for that silly doctor in the pouch of the kangaroo. And L is for that silly lion using a blow dryer, of course. M is also for... That's right, moose. And N, hello, buddy. Have fun finding your father, is for narwhal. And O is also for, do you remember? Ostrich, correct. P is for penguin. Q is also for quail. It's a cute little bird. Never forget, R is also for rabbit. That's right. S is also for snake and t is also for tiger u is also for that's right unicorn v is also for vulture very nice w is also for walrus woohoo x and y are also for it doesn't say but i'm gonna say it again for x can be xylophone and y can be yo-yo and Z is also for zebra. All right. 
Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and for reading A's for Salad with so many wonderful, silly animals. I'm really happy to hang out with you. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I hope you have a really lovely evening. Good night.